All right, boys, I'm back from the grocery store. Ah, just in time, Don. We're about to rank every boss in Call of Duty Zombies history. Yeah, from World at War all the way to Black Ops Cold War. Are we doing non-Treyarch? We'll do those soon. For now, let's do Treyarch only. Okay, I'll start. Wait, are we ranking based on how much we like them? Let's base it off how well they perform as a boss within the map and factor in annoyance. Well, right off the bat, we've got the fucking Avogadro, so that's a fat fucking F tier from me. Yeah, I gotta agree with Donnie on this one. Fuck that electric bastard. I think the concept for him was pretty cool, but definitely missed the mark. Just like the whole of Transit, honestly. Whoa, now let's not diss my boy Transit. I had a lot of fun on that map. Shut your boomer ass up, Joe. The map missed the mark in about 50 different ways. Wait, I thought you loved Transit. Joe, you're thinking of a different timeline. This is FPS Psycho's channel. (sighs) Guys, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, never mind. Anyway, it's an obvious F tier. Let's move on. All right, the astronaut from Moon, that's an F tier for me. Wait, are you serious? It's an S tier for me. It literally used Treyarch employees for the name each time one spawned in. And it's on the absolutely iconic map, Moon. Moon is overrated as hell, Sloppy Joe. Do you really enjoy spending five hours spinning the box for the same two fucking items over and over again? Hey, come on, outside of the box, RNG, the astronaut serves as a great threat, not too overpowered, not too weak. All right, let's settle for C tier then. Next up is the Avogadro boss fight. Oh, this bitch again. Well, to be honest, it was definitely a slight improvement from transit, but it's a D tier for me. Agreed. Nothing too special. It was all right, I guess. Yeah, I mean, who the fuck wants to actually play Alpha Omega? Yeah, I feel like 90% of Zombies players have never fought that boss. D tier, it is. Oh, God, speaking to Black Ops 4, the fucking Blight Father. I mean, to be honest, he served as a good threat on the maps, and with how broken the specialist weapons you spawn in with are, he's not that bad. Yeah, it doesn't excuse him being a fucking dick, though. Um, But I'm happy with C-tier if you guys are. Agreed. Very middle of the road, boss, for me. No complaints there. Oh, finally, a good one. Brutus from Mob of the Dead. Easy fucking S-tier, baby. Mob is overrated, F. Shut your dumb ass up, Sleepy Joe. Do you realize how many people you just pissed the fuck off? Who in their right mind hates Mob of the Dead? I mean, I can agree. The setup gets a little tedious after a while, but Brutus was an amazing boss to deal with. He always felt intimidating, but never overpowered, even if you had weaker guns. Yeah, spit those facts, old Bizzle. Joe, you're lucky I'm agreeing with you. I swear to fucking God with that stupid nickname. All right, can we just put him in S tier and move on? He's iconic. Done. Okay, the Brutus boss fight in Blood of the Dead. I'm going with a C tier on this one. The ending cutscene was amazing, but he was a little underwhelming. Have you ever tried beating that Easter egg on Solo? He's really quite challenging. Yeah, I totally agree with what Bushy just said. Joe, you've literally never got past the catwalk. Stop capping. I'm going to say B tier because it was probably one of the only good aspects of blood. Okay, I'll agree with that. Oh boy, the fucking denizens. Fuck these little stupid rats. Easy F tier. Anyone disagrees, then you're getting kicked from the call. Well, I totally agree. They were annoying as hell. They only got added to prevent people going in the fog to see the shitty textures in the sky. F tier. Well, that was easy. The disciple from Mauer der Toten. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this guy pissed me off so much. Yeah, I hated how much health he had. And lifesteal, too. Not to mention the fact he buffed all the zombies around him. I'm going to say D tier. Hold on, I think that's a little harsh. I'd say B tier. He's a scary presence and keeps you on your toes, which in Cold War was very needed. For once, I'm going to agree with Sleepy. Cold War is a fairly easy game compared to the likes of Black Ops 4. So an annoying boss is probably healthy. Okay, let's settle for C tier then. Now on to Gorud Krovi's dragon boss fight. For me, this is an A tier. Yeah, I can get behind that. The map had two boss fights, which was awesome. Yeah, not the first time. Zetsubu had two as well. Wait, Barack, didn't you say Revelations was the first map to have two bosses? Even if I did. I don't think we're going to trust your dementia memory, Joe. Yeah, you tell him Obama. Well, A tier it is. I liked how you had to use the shield to dodge his attacks. Fun boss. But if you forget that shield, then you're fucked. Only reason it's not an S for me. Oh, God. This next one, the electric catalyst zombies. F tier for me. Yeah, fuck those guys blinding you and just being generally annoying. Yeah, Black Ops 4 is difficult enough. The elemental zombies were a cool idea, but really executed poorly, in my opinion. I don't think anyone would disagree with that. Wait, what the fuck is an electric zombie? Isn't that the same thing? I think they're the ones from Gorod Krovi. The drone thing spawned them in. Whoa, I forgot they fucking existed. D tier because who cares? Yeah, I I don't remember these ones, so go ahead. 
Well, let's be honest. What the fuck do you remember, Joe? Why don't you pipe down and adjust that wig of yours, Don? Your last name is literally a fart. Shut it. Watch your fucking tone, pal. All right, all right, you goofballs. Chill the hell out. Elephant boss fight from nine. I tear for me. Fuck them, D tier. It's just an animal. Could they not have come up with something a little bit more original? I agree with Donnie on that last point, but the boss itself was challenging and rewarding. I'm going to say A tier. Joe, what are your thoughts? Oh, come on, Barack. You really think I played nine enough to do the damn boss? Shove it in A tier. All right, let's do some rapid fire tiers. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. The I boss from Voyage? B tier. Fire catalyst? C tier. Definitely the best catalyst to deal with. Fire Margua? B tier because they looked pretty damn cool. Agreed. The Fury from Revelations? F tier. Annoying little bastards. Oh, come on, Wiggy. That's a bit harsh. I'm saying B tier. They were kind of forgettable. Yeah, like everything in that dense skull of yours. I'm going C tier for this one. C it is. What the fuck is a Jejanese? Oh, that's the cool-ass boss from Ancient Evil, which is such an underrated map. Seriously underrated. The Black Ops 4 DLC was pretty good overall. S tier. I'll go with B tier because I like how the boss fit the aesthetic of the map perfectly. Very true, Joe. B tier from me as well. All right, I'm saying B tier, so let's settle for A to keep Don happy. My boy George Romero, easy fucking S tier. I don't know, man. I always thought he ruined Call of the Dead. Shut the fuck up, Joe. I'll make you nap forever if you say that again. In Minecraft, of course. Yeah, I'm sorry, Joe, but this is the easiest S tier of my life. Wait, who left? Bush just sent me a text saying his PC fell over. Wow, what a shocker. George L. Bush can't stop a tower from falling. Tell me something new. So I guess we'll just continue without him. Uh, the ghost ladies uh, from Buried are a C tier for me. They were pretty annoying, but they felt creepy. Yeah, I was always terrified of going in that mansion to get to pack a punch. D tier for me. I'd say B tier, so I guess it's another C tier for the list. Hellhounds is an S tier, the most iconic boss in all of COD Zombies. Totally agree with that, even though they were weak as hell in Black Ops 3 and overpowered in World at War and Black Ops 1. I'm saying S tier too. No complaints here. I love the dogs. The Fetch Me Their Souls line has got to be the most iconic quote in Zombies. All right, let's get some of the more boring ones out of the way really quick. Jolting, Jack F. Jumping, Jack's F. Lightning Hound, C, Marauder, D. That guy can suck a dick. Meatballs from Shadows, B, Nova, 6, Bomber, F. Skeletons, C, Poison Catalysts, D. Any objections to those, Joe? You really think the Jumping Jacks are F to your Don? Are you serious, Sleepy? Die Rise is already the shittest map in existence. They turn it into a literal sewer. The Keeper Boss fight for me is S tier. The first official boss in Treyarch Zombies, and by far the most fun. 100% agree with that. Yeah, it took me about 50 tries, but even I managed to beat it. Der Eisendrake here was such a masterpiece. Well said, Joe. How about the standard keepers? A tier. They were a welcome presence in Black Ops 3. They always felt a little too weak, so I'm going to say B tier. I'll go A tier because they're iconic. <laughs> this next one might be controversial, but I'm saying the Legion boss fight is S tier. Fucking S tier Obama. Tell me five people that have beaten that boss from around the world. I'll wait D tier all the way. I mean, sure, it was difficult, but it's by far the best boss in Cold War and on the levels of Elden Ring or the Dark Souls games. Yeah, like your dusty ass has ever played Elden fucking Ring, Joe. Two to one Don S tier it is. Ah, uh, fuck you guys. Really quickly. The Stoker, Tigers, Tormentors, Void Margua, Zombie Monkeys, and Water Catalyst are going in D tier. All of them are pretty forgettable. Although I will say the monkeys were iconic, despite being one of the most annoying mini-bosses of all time. Yeah, I agree with that. I hate how they stole the drops in Shang. That map was already pretty hard. Let alone Ascension with them stealing all the damn perks. A rare Trump agrees with Sleepy Joe moment. Okay, the mangler from Gorod Krovi. Definitely an S-tier for me. Gorod was a masterpiece, and the boss fit the map so well. I think S tier is a little high, but I'll go with A tier. They were a bit too easy to beat for me. Well, 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 look who fixed the tower. Only took 22 years for you to figure it out, huh? Shut your pie hole. Sorry about that, guys. No worries. Where would you rate the mangler? Probably an A tier. They were great, but a little too easy to kill. George Capital W. Bush strikes again. All right, all right, just go with A tier then. I'm saying both the Margua and Megaton are an S tier. I never liked the Megaton, so I'm saying D tier. D tier, it's like the easiest boss in that game. Holy shit, you are old. Four fucking years, Don. Relax, ladies, I'm saying S tier as well. Let's just move on or we'll be here all day. 
Mimics are a definite F tier for me, purely down to the stupid glitch on Firebase. I'm with you there, Donnie. I spent hours trying to do that stupid step. The amount of game restarts was a joke. Now, I, I don't know about you guys, but I love the napalm, so I'm saying A tier. That guy once shot me at least 20 times. I'm going with D tier. On God, Joe, you're really trying to piss people off today, huh? B tier for me. Well, I'm going to say A tier. So to keep Joe happy, I guess it's a B. The Nikolai boss is definitely S tier. Amazing way to end an amazing map. Yeah, and it'd be sacrilegious to rate it lower than the dragon boss. It was pretty difficult without gobble gums, but it was one of the best bosses from Black Ops 3. Uh, so S tier as well. Ooh, Nova Crawlers. I love these little goofy guys. Joe, are you high? Has Hunter been hanging around the White House again? Shut the hell up, Don. Ladies, shut the fuck up. Nova Crawlers ruined every map they were on for me. F tier? Agreed F tier. I'm not even going to ask where Joe was going to rate these bastards. Okay, the Orta boss fight is sadly an F tier for me. He had a really cool design, but he was literally the easiest boss in all of Zombies. Yeah, I think it took me about two minutes to beat it. Uh, very underwhelming. Fitting for the map Firebase, though. A very dull experience. Surprisingly, you don't like it, Joe. It fits your personality. Now, this one, I'm saying the Origins Panzer is S tier. The Dare Eisendrake Panzer is A tier, though. Not as intimidating, but still a great threat. And he fit the map. I'd personally say they're equal, but that's a fair argument. Yeah, I can agree with you there, Barack. God Origins was a masterpiece. Parasites from Shadows? B tier. They were kind of cool, but really easy to deal with. Somehow easier than Hellhounds. Yeah, they got a little harder in Revelations, but they still weren't difficult to deal with. B tier it is. Pegasus and Perseus boss fights are a definite... S tier, in my opinion. The best bosses from Black Ops 4. I know for a fact Joe hasn't attempted it, so let's just shove them in S tier. It, it can be a little tedious, but if you know the trick to step in the fire and charge your specialist faster, it's not bad at all. Rewarding, too. Next up is the Pentagon Thief. I know we should probably give it S tier since he lives in the Pentagon, but fuck this guy. F. Agreed, F tier. Any boss that can steal your weapon and runs at Mach 5 speed can fuck right off. Not going to dispute that. F tier it is. Plague Hounds, C tier for me, the second best variation of dogs. Yeah, they were a welcome experience in Cold War. Oh, the Shadow Man boss. I've actually beaten this one. Whoopty fucking do, Joe. It's like one of the easiest bosses of all time. B tier. A tier for me. The only reason I don't put him in S tier is because in Revelations, they used the same boss again for the ending. A little bit of a disappointment. Yeah, you'd think they would have uh, come up with something a little more difficult. It, I, I know the map had two bosses, but it, it, it really was the same as Shadows. A tier is respectable. Shriekers and Spiders are both going in B tier. We all agree? That seems fair. Both were intimidating, but nothing too over the top. Subtle and welcome additions to both maps. The Spiders always gave me the creeps, but I did like how they fit the whole aesthetic of the Zetsubu. I wouldn't mind if they came back in the future. Amen to that. All right, the Takeo boss fight is an S tier for me. That cutscene was beautiful. Hold on, Barack. I think you're being a little too generous. The boss was pretty damn easy. Yeah, you, you literally just shoot his arm three times and it's complete. Probably a B tier for me. Even I've managed to beat it, so it can't be that hard. B tier. Donnie, you're ranking? I'll go B tier. Well, majority rules. B tier it is. Democracy, ladies and gentlemen. A Tempest in C tier? And Templar's definitely an A tier for me, though. The design of them was really cool. Yeah, they felt very unique. Fitting for Origins, too. Surprised we haven't seen them since. I agree with that. Tempests definitely were nothing special. But they did feel like a far better version of the Avogadro. That's true. Speaking of nothing special, Thrasher is D tier for me. Snorefest of a map with a Snorefest boss. D for me as well. I liked how in co-op you could get eaten when downed by the Thrasher. But that's the only part I enjoyed. Yeah, they took way too many bullets to destroy and too many spawn per round. D tier it is. The Valentina boss fight is an A tier for me. Difficult, but not obnoxious and definitely better than all of Cold War. I'd say B tier because it's pretty hard to beat. Skill issue. A tier as well. Uh, Valkyries were annoying. Definitely one of the more obnoxious bosses. I'm saying D tier. Whoa, whoa, hold your horses there, Barack. B tier would be more fitting. I wouldn't say they're worse than the astronaut or disciples. Fair point. Okay, B tier seems fair. And honestly, I like the whole Valkyrie helmet thing. Let's tag team the werewolves and vampires. I'm going B tier for both. 
I personally love them. They made Dead of the Night one of the most underrated maps in zombies history. You're talking out of your rear, Don. The vampires were so annoying. They were so fast and always interrupted training. I can see both sides here, but I agree with Don that they fit the whole vibe of the map. B tier seems appropriate. Well, time for the last one. The werewolf boss fight in Dead of the Night. I'll say A tier. I'm going B. It was a decent experience. I'm going with A tier, a fitting end to an awesome map. Well, Joe, you're the decider. F tier. What? Why the fuck is it F tier? Uh, well, uh, they like, uh, because of the, uh... Okay, Dementia Daniel. A tier it is. Thanks, boys, for helping me out here. And honestly, not the worst list I've seen. Wait just a damn second. Where's the spider boss fight from Zetsubu? And the fucking forsaken boss, too? Wait, good point. I knew it wasn't my brain forgetting. Well, they aren't on the list, but I'd put the spider boss in A tier. It was really cool for a mid-game boss. Forsaken in D tier because it was supposed to be the dramatic conclusion to Cold War. It ended up being one of the easiest on the game. Great points, lads. Hopefully the list didn't miss any others. Obama out. Yeah, time for my frozen four cheese pizza. Barack got me too jealous on transit. Later sleepy, later bushy. All right, Joe, speak to you later. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, FPS Psycho is a pretty cool guy. They actually make zombies videos every week. So please subscribe and like the video if you've enjoyed. I've been your former President Barack Obama. Have a great day or night whenever you watch this.